Welcome back. Let's finish this. CRT is going down. Welcome back to my humble abode. Did you get homesick? Predictable. Don't know what to do without your deceitful friend, Bob, huh? Well, he got you right in my trap. Well, see, this is why I'm going to win. I don't need friends. I don't need anyone. Once I've drained the siphon, even my father will fear me. You said I'd never amount to anything, Dad. Well, look at me now! Do you recognize where we are? This is where we started. Who brought civilization to Clover Island? Me. I'm an architect. You're nothing but a jumped up furry thief and a little feathered rat. Big boots to fill, huh, Dad? Never good enough? Always a disappointment? Huh, Dad? <laughs> I'll show everyone. Okay. Oh, seriously, what are you on about? Looks like you finally found your way home, kitten. It's time for you to meet your maker. Hmm. This is interesting. Not what I expected. Fun fact, though, I nearly have uh, enough gems to collect all the uh, lowers, but I haven't collected already, which is pretty cool. Hi. Celestial ruler of totality. Sweet. Let's do this. Whoa! Hey there. So how do I hurt you? Hasta la vista, baby. I could just come at you and try and hit you that way, but... Try and hit your other hand. That's always an idea. You seem to move fast enough, though. So what do I need to do to get to you? you might not believe this, but no, that doesn't seem to work. To no, that didn't seem to work either. Okay. Maybe I'm able to magnetize your hand. Or maybe I'm not. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, okay, hey, 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 you know what? I had some time to think of my mistakes. And I've reached the conclusion that I'm absolutely right about everything. Except, you know. Okay, see, so seriously, what am I missing here? I'm honestly not sure what I have to do. I assume I can't hit these back. No. What am I missing here? No, that just hurts me. Never mind. Can't. What am I missing? Probably something incredibly obvious. Come on. Get up there. But I don't know what it is. You need a good old fashioned spanking. Oh, I see. You trying to tickle me or something? Ah. Gotcha. Then can I hit you a bit more? I most certainly can. Gotcha. I understand. Haha. -ha. Cool. Oh, that's cool. I like that. 
I should probably move from that spot. Probably, maybe. Oh boy. If it gives me a whole phase, this is not going to take long. If it lets me hit it again. Nah, it's going to take three phases. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way it's going to be that easy. Oh. Oh, I see. That's not good. Gotta run. I'm on the wrong thing. Oh, that was a shame. That was my bad. That was totally my bad. I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. How dead am I on a scale of one to dead? Uh, pretty, pretty dead. Goodbye, CRT. Big doof. It's over. Free needle. Dunion rings. It ain't over till a chubby lady sends, parrot. Not as long as I can do this. Dang. Wrong button. Uh, can we pretend this didn't happen? You gotta be kidding me. No evil robot overlord jazz? You're just... this? I'm a webster. All I've ever had was this Valkyrian station and its AI, Bob. And it's not even his real name, I just started calling him that. I used him and now he's gone. And CRT, that's just a big fat lie. Why? Why would you do all this, man? I never had a choice. I never asked to be the son of a dictator, to be cold-hearted and cruel. Things are expected of me. Wait, back up. Who are you? I am Tiberius Julius, the heir to the Wemsterian Empire. Whoa, so you're like a prince? No more. This was my last chance. I've been nothing but a failure and a laughing stock for my entire life. And unless I conquered a planet, the father said I'd be exiled forever. Wow, that's pretty rough. Look, I get how it feels to be left alone. But you do have a choice. You never have an excuse to be a complete butt and destroy other people's lives. I needed to prove myself. I figured people fearing me would be better than people ridiculing me. But now, I'm all alone in this galaxy. That's not true, sir. Bob! Hey, you're alive! You've never had to prove anything to me, sir. <sighs> and you're not alone, sir. You have friends all around you. Really? Of course, dude. But you have to promise to fix everything you mucked up down on Clover Island. I guess. I, I mean, yes, definitely, of course. I do hate to be the proverbial party pooper, sir, but it seems that the siphon you extracted is rather disagreeing with being separated from its moon. It's pulling us into the atmosphere. What? Well, that's just great. Not too great, I'm afraid, as this station wasn't designed for landing. Expecting a hull break in 10. No, what are we gonna Nine. do? Hold on, guys. Eight. Seven. This might get bumpy. Six. No, wait. That's Five. not it. Uh, I swear I had something for this. Two. One. Did I do good? Impressive stunt, sir. Quite brave indeed. <clears throat> is it too late to pretend like uh, I knew this was gonna happen from the start? I think it is. Far too late, sir. But that was the raddest ride of my life, dude! You saved us! I've got a warmish feeling in my chest. Is this what friendship feels like? Yeah, dude! Sip it all in! This is amazing! But what if my father finds out about all this? Hey now, let's burn that bridge when we get to it! And that's how our hero was made. It all worked out pretty well in the end, didn't it? CRT finally let go of his shackles thanks to his new friends and could truly be himself. Flux learned that the world moves on with or without you and that doing nothing ultimately achieves nothing. 
Skylar defined what she was told to be for what she wanted to be. And with all these cliches, it's only fitting to say that it seems like they all lived happily ever after. Well then, that was Skylar and Pluck's Adventure in Clover Island by Right Nice. I did have a lot of fun with this game. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to do my review score kind of thing. Um, graphic style and graphical design. It's a pretty nice game. I think it, I think it looks pretty. Um, the, the world is pretty nice, memorable. Nothing too bad about it, really. Um, Oh, Philip Hagland was uh, Pluck Sandbob. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I would like to be in the next game, please. I will audition for anything you want. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll give graphics, graphics and style. Uh, uh, like graphics style and graphical design 8. Music and audio. Um, yeah, voice acting was pretty good. Um, for the most part. Um, the world itself was nice. Um, don't really have anything to complain about that. So I guess eight for that as well. Story and dialogue. The story wasn't like the most, uh, like, not creative. Creative is not the word I'm looking for. Like, intense thing in the world. But it was fine. It was silly. It was. It was fine. Like there was nothing wrong with it uh, per se. I think some people might hate it, but I find it. I found it fine. So we'll give it a seven. Uh, gameplay and level design. It is a classic platformer. It is a classic, classic platformer, and I liked that a lot. Um, unfortunately, it did lag at times, which was a shame. Or was there going to be an ending? Secret ending? Super special. Here's a teaser for the next game thing, maybe. No, no, it uh, takes you straight out. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, gameplay and level design. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Um, yes, uh, had a bit of lag here and there. Had a couple of glitches near the end. Um, but it was a very good game. It had a lot of really... It felt great to play. It felt really great to play. Uh, the controls were fantastic. Uh, lots of little things were really nice about the game. Uh, so despite the fact that there were issues here and there... It felt fun. Like, a little too easy, sure, but, you know, I'm, I am I, probably should give it a 7 or a 6, but I'm going to give it an 8, just because I did genuinely have a lot of fun. Then replayability and length. It's not a long game. But then again, you don't necessarily expect indie games to be super, super long. Um, I, I had fun with it. Um, I think replayability and length should be a 6. I want to play it again. Um, I want to play through it again. I want to collect what I missed. Uh, but I enjoyed it. So with that said... I take my score, uh, 16, 23, 31, 37, double it, uh, and that is, uh, that is 7.4, 74, 74 out of, uh, out of 10, yeah, I, you know, I, sorry, 7.5 out of 10, I'll, I'll bump it up to 7.5, 7.5 I think is fair, um, it has issues here and there, but you know, it's a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was just, it's great to see 3D platformers coming back, and if this is the beginning of a new franchise, and I hope this does well, this is the beginning of a new franchise, and they make a sequel, um, I'm all for it, I'm 100% all for it, I'm very much looking forward to that, because this is, this is the great start, it is the groundworks for a potentially great franchise, just bigger, bolder, more levels, um, just keep doing what you're doing, um, and yeah, I look forward to what happens next. It was a lot of fun. So thank you everyone for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, if you did, uh, enjoy the series or this video or all of it, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, 
I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.